Hi everyone, I'm Zara, founder of Monty Kids, and I'm here today to do an unboxing of Monty Kids Level 1. So Monty Kids is based on the Montessori education curriculum, which has been around for over 100 years in schools around the world and proven by research. And what we do is we bring it into your home and make it really easy for parents to use by sending all the toys that your baby needs for every stage of development and all the guidance that you need. So we're gonna open up the first Monty Kids level, which starts with newborn babies. And the first thing you see when you open any Monty Kids box is the toy timeline. Because the toys in the Montessori program are introduced in a progression of difficulty as your child progresses their skills. What comes also beyond the box of toys, we send content for parents, short videos that guide you through every stage of your child's development and how to meet their developmental needs. So the first item in level one is the activity gym. And that comes in this box. Um, and it's something that you put together, but there are no tools required. Our whole program is designed for busy parents, so it takes just a few minutes to put together. The finished product looks like this. We had one already set up. Um, and this allows you to hang um, various toys, visual mobiles and other toys which come in the box at the ideal height for your baby. So your baby's eyesight develops gradually over the first few months of their life. Babies are not just born with fixed visual skills. What they see in those first few months actually impacts the development of their vision. So Monty Kids provides a series of visual mobiles um, that helps them develop all of those visual skills. The first one is the Munari, which is hanging here. It is a high contrast mobile um, because babies in the beginning as newborns are very attracted to that and so it allows them to concentrate for long periods and develop their focus. Next mobile in the series is called the octahedron. So after they've had some practice we introduce colors and we start with primary colors. So the reason why we introduce primary colors first is because they are the most contrasting colors, so they're easiest for babies to see and distinguish. These mobiles, as you can see, are designed with very delicate strings and rods so that they move with the natural air current in the room because a baby can visually track when something is moving at just this speed and um, some of those kind of more electronic mobiles move a little too fast um, for baby to keep up. So parents will notice after your child has had some time to practice, babies will sometimes concentrate for 30, 40 minutes on these mobiles, which is pretty incredible because they are building up their concentration and it allows parents to kind of get a little break as well. This is the third mobile in the series. It's called the Gobi, and it introduces gradation of color as your child develops their skills. And each of these mobiles targets a variety of visual skills, so depth perception, um, switching focus quickly between objects, uh, tracking. This fourth mobile is my favorite. It is called the Dancers. Um, and I remember when I had this out for my kids at home, people would come over and compliment me and talk about what a beautiful mobile it is. And it, it's very attractive, even to adults but babies really love this one. And it's designed so that all the pieces move independently, which is like a whole nother level of visual processing. So that is the last mobile in the series. Beyond mobiles, we have some other fun activities in the box. Um, we have some rattles and grasping toys. So some parents don't realize that even before your baby reaches out to grasp, um, they're actually ready to grasp and placing something into their hands will help them to develop those grasping skills. So this is a grasping toy that is designed for very small hands. Um, this is 
a crochet ring that makes a little bit of noise. And these are really special because it's actually very hard to find toys for newborn babies that are small enough for their hands, that are light enough for them to hold. And grasping, there's so much research on grasping that shows that developing, reaching, and grasping for babies triggers this developmental cascade that leads to the acquisition of other skills. Um, so, these are some toys that you introduce really early on and can continue to use for months beyond that. So after your baby has had a lot of practice with the visual mobiles and they've practiced grasping, um, they are gonna start reaching up for their mobiles and trying to grab them. And that's when you know they are ready for the batting ball. Um, and the batting ball is used with the activity gym. So there are two settings to this gym. This short setting allows for the mobiles to hang at the, at the right height for your baby to see them. Um, and then there is a longer key that you can slide in very easily to hang the interactive toys. And the first interactive toy we have is the bell, the batting bell. And it's really a beautiful thing when your baby, you know, will swat and try to get it and eventually they'll hit the ball, they'll realize that they made that sound happen and they have this little aha moment and it's, it's pretty beautiful to watch. Um, and of course they'll repeat and repeat. The next one is the grasping ring um, and we provide the straps to hang all of these toys from the gym. The grasping ring is something that they can reach out and, and actually hold on to after they've had practice batting and hitting their target. Um, the next one is the hanging discs. And this is uh, used in a similar way, but it's a different shape. So it challenges their grasp in a different way. And the last toy that we hang from the activity gym is the kicking ball. So this is something that they can kick with their feet. Um, and it is, kicking is actually the foundation, um, provides the foundational skills that children use for walking. So practicing with this ball is something that they're really excited to do. You can weave these together when you're hanging them on the gym so that when they kick, they can actually hear a sound. So there's lots of different ways to use these. Later, this makes for a great ball. Uh, it's great for grasping as well. So lots of shelf life to these, um, to these items. This uh, level one begins for newborns right at birth. You can start you know, whenever you're ready um, and it will last for many, many months um, beyond that. Um, and that is level one. The one thing that's not pictured in this box is the support that Monty Kids provides. So in addition to the toys, the video content and the guidance we send, we send little research articles so you can learn you know why all of these things work so well for your child and their development but we also have Montessori experts here to answer any questions you have about sleep training potty training introducing solids really anything related to your child's development our experts are available to answer your questions anytime so um, that's why Monty Kids exists to guide you through your baby's stage of development to provide the best education possible for your child so that you can really expand their lifelong potential.